guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do empties, and I will be doing my empties with my boyfriend. Hey guys. So we both have a lot of empties, and I'm going to go first, and then he will gradually do his. First two products I have are both skincare products. I have the Ordinary's Alginate Acid Expansion 10%. This is my first bottle that I have been using. I have been using this for 6 months. So far it's so good. And I also have both of our favourites. Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Emulsion. And this is a normal moisturiser for Hyderabad winters. I need a thick moisturiser that would moisturize my skin enough. This is great for oily to combination skin. I don't think dry skin people would like it. Cost of both of them are pretty decent. This is for 960 rupees and this is 1280. Yep, you can go with yours. I have a box. Lot of skincare. Uh, Lot of empties. Before uh, I get into it, let me just say that it's been a year since I've been uh, trying skincare and my skin type is a combination. Uh, highly reactive and sensitive. We both have pretty similar skin. Yeah, pretty similar. Yeah. So the first product is the uh, moisturizer from Simple, which is the hydrating light moisturizer. I've been using it for a year. I've repurposed it probably like seven, eight times, and this suits my skin the best. I've tried the finishing uh, rich moisturizer, and uh, for some reason, I prefer the hydrating light. That is also one of my favorites. You can show you multiple bottles. A keynote, guys. Uh, products value comes with the box. So don't try to throw the box like he does. <laughs> I might have missed a couple of more, but yeah, I have a chunk of these. Yeah. So the next empty is the micro tip salicylic acid patches from Dermoco. We have two, three packs of these and we both love it. Tell me your thoughts about this. Um, Personally, I really love this. This is a lifesaver. So if you have an active acne or active pimple, you can just apply this and it just works overnight. I've also tried the uh, Cosrx uh, pimple patch, which comes in different sizes. But I kind of feel it's kind of stupid giving in different sizes because once you run out of the big ones and you have the small ones, it's not going to fit in your big Simple. It's slightly expensive than the Cosrx one, but comes with the micro tip, uh, whatever that's called. <laughs> so, so yeah, I prefer this more than the Cosrx one, and it is bang for your And it actually heals your acne rather than just like, covering it. Yeah, and one more thing, you should probably apply it on the active pimple yeah. rather than putting it after the pimples are probably three days mm -hmm. because I tried it; it did not work. So just a heads up. So the next product is guys the uh, cleanser from uh, Deconstruct which is the uh, salicylic acid oil control face wash. I've been using this for the past uh, 8 months and it suits my skin the best and I have probably repurchased it maybe 5-6 times. It gives the uh, dewy effect after washing your face. After washing your face. It makes and, your skin uh, supple. Yeah, it's not like uh, it makes your skin instantly dry, which I have experienced with my previous cleanser. So it uh, keeps your uh, skin moist. So that's why I like this. It is a uh, gel based uh, face wash and it does lather up pretty nicely. Uh, Alright, uh, so the next product is the vitamin C serum from Minimalist. Uh, this is probably the first uh, serum I tried out, which was suggested by her. The texture was pretty nice, sticky kind of texture. Uh, and it's a little bit thick serum. It's a thick serum, yeah, it is a thick serum, and uh, it does stay on your face. And I'm a kind of person who doesn't like a light serum. I want something which has that feel on your face. So yeah, this was a really good thick serum by many. And how did you feel about after using the serum? Okay, I probably got two toners better and <laughs> uh, it helped me with my acne oh. and acne marks acne marks oh. and yeah that's pretty much I can think about it <laughs> coming to my next product which is from the Overdermis uh, vitamin B serum which I am using currently it is comparatively a light serum helped me a lot with my post acne pigmentation Even and action. sebum yeah whatever <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I think I've purchased probably like the third time I'm getting it and it's pretty nice. 
That's pretty affordable too. It is. Yeah. I just saw the <laughs> it has encapsulated niacinamide in it. So encapsulation helps to penetrate the actives much more better than the normal serum. So that's why it works. Talk about your favorite serum. Okay. So guys, this right here is a work of art. Because this high panel. This is also my favorite. It's Isn't Tree's TW Real Bifita app beyond. Bifita is a type of a microbe that is present on your skin and helps with anti-aging wrinkles and also brightening up your skin. I really like the texture. It is so thick. Yeah, it is thick and it hydrates your skin. And if you have oily skin, it kind of moisturizes your skin also. The packaging is so good. Isn't your packaging is really nice. It is so pretty. And uh, my favorite serum I've used. And when I used this, I was having a very minimal amount of acne issues. And it just gives you that dewiness and that glow when you're going to the office or just going out somewhere. So I do still have a couple of drops just to show you how nice it is. This is how you do it. I'll show a video. Okay. The important part to say is it made you fair. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, for some reason she found me fair after, after using, using this. this. <laughs> so yeah, it's a uh, couple of benefits you get there using this. So yeah, <laughs> so this is probably the best uh, serum I've used so far. So far, it's probably a trial pack, which you get a serum, a toner, and. The moisturizer. So this is the first toner I use. It is pretty light on your skin. But it does hydrate. It does hydrate. Uh, not going to deny that. But uh, I'll talk about the other toner later. But this was really good as uh, me starting to get into skincare and start using toner. So it gives you that dewiness. The lotion I did not use on my face. I would rather use it on my body. Why? So you didn't like the texture. I. I had a moisturizer for my face, so <laughs> I used that. Acha, so you stick to your skincare. Yeah, so I don't want to distort or disturb my skincare. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's <laughs> I don't have the uh, serum because I am still using it. Coming to the next toner, which is from Isn't Tree. Isn't Tree make pretty good product, guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is their hyaluronic acid uh, toner, which is the lighter version. And you also use the plus one. Right? I've used the plus one, and I prefer the plus one because I'm a kind of person who likes uh, my skincare products. Thick. The other one, the plus version, feels more. Uh, it's more hydrating. Hydrating and feels like it's on your skin. Mm. I like toners which stay on your skin for some time, not something which just. Uh, dries up in like five six seconds. Not saying it's bad, but I just prefer the uh, less version better. This one is great for oily skin because most people tend to like lighter texture. But for combination skin like us, we both prefer the plus one. Yeah, and I also got the uh, bigger version of yeah, the plus. plus. So coming up next is the Centella Asiatica extract from One Thing. This was also suggested by her. Not Everything is suggested by her, but yeah. So uh, I was having issues. Having a lot of breakouts, like breakouts. sudden breakouts. All of a sudden, I think yeah. due to climatic change, I started getting like crazy amount of breakouts. Mm. And she just said, you know, just try this and let's see if it works. And it did work. Yeah. It took me a while, probably you'd say one, one and a half months. But yeah, it did uh, help me to control my. Uh, it calmed your skin. Like, yeah, it so calmed my skin. It does give you results. Yeah, it's almost like water. It's like water. So it's really great for layering your skincare if you are applying too much skincare. And uh, Centella Asiatica is known for calming your skin. It has an ingredient called as madecanoside in it. It helps with calming your acne and also helping with a little bit of PIH and PIE. So it's probably the reason why it helped. Oh, <laughs> I'll talk about some of my body care products first. Sure. So we both have used this. This is the Dove's Coconut Milk and Jasmine Body Wash. I love the nourishing range from Dove. We are currently using the lavender one. Right? Yeah. It is pretty moisturizing and lathers up nicely and also bang for your buck. It costs 500 rupees for 500 ml. This is a great option. I also have 
two of other dropped products in the body care thing and i have the pro age body butter it has an inclusion of aha's and retinol in it i've used it for maybe a month and it is a very thick body butter so you need a little bit of time for applying it and your skin to get absorbed that's a annoying part but yeah it's a decent buy and pretty affordable also have my favorite body stuff from dove this is their exfoliating body polish this is my favorite range by the way and this is the macadamia rice milk it is a very gentle scrub that helps with my keratosis pilaris and every time i'm waxing i tend to do it a night before and it helps with my ingrown situation i also have the intimate wash from serona pretty decent it's a very liquidy or uh, intimate wash this first time i've been using this decent product i don't think i'll repurchase this and guys whatever products i have all of you repurchase I also have the Dove Nourishing Secrets Body Ritual Body Lotion. I have the Indulging Ritual Body Lotion in the oat milk and acacia honey. One they previously used to use maple syrup in it. That was a little bit more moisturizing, but this one is pretty decent. It's lightweight but moisturizes your skin. Affordable, maybe for seven hundred rupees you get five hundred ml. So pretty affordable. And did you like it when you used it? Not a big fan of that, <laughs> but. Uh... I like the fragrance. It smells like caramel. Maybe that's what you know. Okay, <laughs> but not my top three, but yeah, yeah pretty decent. Yep, you can go with your body care products. These are also my favorite body care products. Show them your Shard Mousse collection. Sure, I will. This is by far the best body care product. Body care product <laughs> because I have like. Six, seven canisters of this. <laughs> this is the Charmus by Dove, which is the argan oil one, and I've also used the uh, rose one. Uh, rose one, but this is I, my favorite. I love the rose. No, don't get this. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't lather up a lot compared to this. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is more moisturizing. I think. It's more moisturizing, and uh, it gives a pretty nice feel to it, and it has a better smell. I rather say fragrance. Not a big rose guy, but yes, <laughs> I like the uh, argan oil one. So there is another coconut uh, oh, one okay. also, but I haven't tried that. I don't want to try it. It is a very mild, uh, tender coconut fragrance. But I'm gonna stick to argan oil, guys. Mm -hmm. It is so good. It's a bit expensive, but uh, if you're like me, you take that uh, on a regular basis, then it's not gonna last you. On a regular long. basis, you take shower like three times a day. That's why. <laughs> okay, I would say it's a bang for the buck for me, at least. And it's also pretty convenient because you don't have to lather your body. Sure. Yeah, that is Sorry, the point. Body water. Trying to have a quick shower. Yeah, it is pretty helpful. Yeah. So there are days where I need to hustle, I need to go to the office, mm. and I do not have the time to use a shower gel or lather it up and lather it, it up. It's body. just so convenient, guys. Yeah, you just spray it and just done. There you go. The next product, which is the uh, salicylic acid gel face wash. Now they have a body wash, but uh, initially they came up with this, so I was using it for my uh, body. Mm, you have back acne. Back acne. And uh, trust me, guys, I found results probably in three to four weeks. My active acne on my back pretty much disappeared. Uh, it was pretty helpful. I used it after my shower. Uh, Just like a treatment. Like a treatment. Mm. It does lather up nicely. Definitely buy it again. I have bought it again. So, last product in body care coconut water and mimosa flower aroma body lotion from uh, Love Beauty and Planet. This is my second. Third, actually. We are currently third, using it. Third, it's another like one. Yeah. Almost an empty. Thick texture, and I love the fragrance. It's very refreshing. Refreshing, refreshing and also hydrates your skin, mm. especially uh, during winters. I would apply slightly more than usual, but uh, it does keep your uh, skin hydrated throughout the day. 495 rupees you can. It lasts about. Three months, uh, roughly. If hmm. we both use it and it lasts for like more than uh, yeah, more than a month. Yeah. I have one last body care product to share. This is the minimalist niacinamide five percent body lotion. This is my sister's favorite. Actually, she is the one who actually finished it. But yeah, it's pretty moisturizing. The only concern of mine is this: it's fragrance free. And I hate fragrance free body care product. But yeah, the ingredient list is nice. It has shea butter, betaine, and obviously niacinamide 5%. Great for keratosis pilaris, great for winters. 
and it is one of the moisturizing lotion or body lotion that won't really feel that you are applying a thick lotion but it's actually thick and it would keep your skin moisturized and hydrated throughout the day i'm actually got a couple of uh like a product this is the deep soothing serum from biolage mm -hmm. i would say guys this is so nice i apply it before i blow dry my hair or if i'm going out on the sun uh, it has this it, it smells really good let me be honest yeah. and it has a really good fragrance and the texture is pretty uh, simple it's light uh, way it makes your hair like really shiny it tames the frizz i yes and i prefer this i've used couple of other serums as well but uh, this is something i would definitely recommend i haven't repurchased it because it's still not done this <laughs> fine bit of it and trust me guys i literally got it a year back it's pretty cheap it's like 300 bucks you apply a lot i apply more than yeah. uh, it's needed mm -hmm. literally you pay less than a rupee for a day because it just lasts you for a year you just have to buy it once yeah so it's definitely bang for the buck and i would definitely suggest you guys to go for this i do have a lot of hair care products oh so these two products are both from scent botanica and these are go range i have the um, anti hair fall shampoo and anti frizz conditioner both are super affordable cost 250 rupees and you get a, something about 200 ml or uh, the shampoo itself is decent but i really like the conditioner before i color my hair this was the only conditioner i was using it tames the frizz and it keeps my hair crispy and currently i'm using this particular hair mask from l'oreal this is the vitamo colored one and to be honest it's very expensive compared to how many times you are actually using it it only lasted me for 3 weeks 3 and a half weeks and it cost 860 rupees so yeah the texture is very lightweight so you need a lot to actually feel like your hair is moisturized so uh the last hair care product i have thank you she told me The last hair care product I have is actually a thing that was suggested by my dermatologist. This is the Cold Tarn Keto Conazole Scalp Solution, and because I have scalp psoriasis, I tend to use this about once or twice a month just to keep it at bay. And this is a type of product that I won't suggest you guys. You should obviously consult a dermat and then use a product like this. But it helped me because I have genetic. scalp psoriasis so by using normal anti dandruff shampoo it doesn't go away my scalp is always flaky and by using it maybe like two times a month or maybe less than that it just helps me to keep my flakiness at bay and it's it's really affordable but it's something that really works for me coming to the next product which is the dandruff control shampoo from Requil have a really dry scalp and especially in winters i have a lot of dandruff issues i've used a number of uh, dandruff controlling shampoos and this is something which really lived up to my expectations and it has a really good fragrance i think it has like a green, green apple uh, and fragrance probably wash my hair thrice a week trust me guys as soon as i uh, tried using this product it instantly helped me with my itchiness generally if i don't use any shampoo which helps with your dandruff my scalp gets itchy in one and a half days but After using this, my scalp wasn't itchy on the third day. Definitely a really good product, and would definitely uh, buy it again. Priced at four fifty, and I think it's pretty decently affordable for the quality. For the quality you get. Okay, I don't know what kind of packaging this is. Just, just press it. It's not fun. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. This is the only uh, thing it's annoying, mm. especially when you try uh, extracting the last bit last of the shampoo. Bit of Okay, I'll talk about these few products that I skip. Normal skincare product I have is from Kaya. This is their purifying cleanser. This was the first cleanser that I used when I was in college. The first acne-based product I used. That's the time I got a little bit of acne. Uh, this is a decent product. It has salicylic acid less than one percent, but it's a really nice maintenance-based product which keeps your acne at bay. Does as fragrance, does as SLS, but it's a well-formulated product that really suits me. Coming on to the last two products I have, they both are deodorants. The first one is the Dove's Invisible Dry. I like this because it doesn't leave any kind of residue whenever you're wearing any kind of black or 
dark clothes some deodorants can and it's also pretty affordable it lasts for 6 months even if you use it twice a day and costs something about 360 rupees and i also have the chemist at play 4% lactic acid and 1% mindalic acid underarm roll on both are great this is a chemical exfoliating one this is a normal one if you are not comfortable using chemical exfoliants on your underarm and you want something that is a very fast free product you can go for this it also has a fragrance free one and now they have a peach fragrance so you can choose between them and yeah pretty decent buy last product yep and it's going to be the overnight spot corrector by pink country um I have mixed uh, opinion on this because I generally uh, go for the uh, simple patches. Uh, sometimes helped me, sometimes it didn't. Um, definitely be, uh, should be applied on the active. Not the post acne. If you popped it and then you put this product, it will lead to it's, pigmentation. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, it's not something that's gonna uh, work overnight as it says. Mm-hmm. It takes uh, at least two to three days. It does, and I have applied it multiple times. Decent, decent product. Decent. No, I'm not going to buy this again. <laughs> I totally rely on uh, paper patches. Paper patches. That it has its own uh, pros and cons. But it does reduce the swellness. Like it does reduce the swelling. I'm someone who wants it, wants my acne uh, to be gone overnight, <laughs> which is not possible. But it helps with the swelling. If you have cystic acne, it has a self form, so it will help with the swelling. So these were our empties. If you want more such videos with him, let me know in the comment box below. <laughs> like this video if you like empties. Share this video to any of your friends, and lastly, subscribe to this channel. Hit on the bell notification, and we will see you hopefully in the next video. So bye bye and take care. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today, how so? No, no, no. Focus, focus. In the beer comes out strong plays. You can just be casual, or be thicker. Should do it. No, then it will be scripted.